Now, we've gotten a brief introduction to loops and we can start challenge number five. Let's remember that you're a Salesforce admin for universal containers. Last week, you built out four flows for different people in the organization and your Salesforce skills are being more and more talked about inside the company. It's Monday morning of a new week and you're really looking forward to some of the things that you'll build this week. One of your favorite parts about being a Salesforce professional is the fun of solving new puzzles and challenges on the Salesforce platform. You did yourself a favor and prioritized getting some awesome sleep over the weekend so that today you feel completely energized to build cool things. You log into Salesforce from your home office and check the help desk to find that Pedro has submitted a brand new request. If you recall, Pedro is the sales manager at Universal's container, Universal Containers and we helped him by building a lead creation wizard in the last lecture. Today, Pedro has come up with a new idea to help the sales team provide a better experience during the Universal Containers sales process. Pedro knows that there are two fields in Salesforce that the sales team regularly uses. One is called account notes and is located on the account object. And the other one is called opportunity notes and is located on opportunity records. And so let's go to our next slide here. So everyone at Universal Containers uses the account notes field to leave important information about the accounts. So like the service team uh, will leave notes here as well as the sales team. The sales team predominantly uses the opportunity notes field and they leave important information about the sales process for other sales team members to see. Pedro was so impressed with your work last week, he wants to know if you can build some automation to make these two fields even more useful for the sales team. He's found that when the sales team knows more about a customer, that they win more deals. For his new idea, he has four new requirements. And so the first requirement is that if the opportunity notes field is updated on any opportunity, he wants to see if you can make those same notes appear on every other opportunity related to the account. Secondly, he wants to know if you can find a way to display the account notes from the account on opportunities that are related to that account so that the sales team can easily read them. Third, if the account notes are updated on the account, can you also update every opportunity to have the same notes? And fourth and finally, when a new opportunity is created, can you make sure that the account notes and the opportunity notes are automatically populated on that new opportunity with the most recent information? You take a lot of notes while reading through Pedro's help desk case and send him a chatter message saying you're gonna work on his case and you're sure that you can help him out. Pedro likes your comment and lets you know that he's excited to see what you can come up with. So hopefully that made sense. Uh, if not, we'll definitely uh, explore it more in the upcoming lectures. Just to give you a sneak peek of what those lectures will be, we are gonna get started with pre-work where we're gonna build out these two fields. They don't actually exist in Salesforce, but we're gonna make a field called account notes that's gonna be, um, I think a long text area, maybe a rich text area, haven't decided yet on both uh, or on the account object. And then we'll do the same thing on the opportunity object. Then we're gonna dive into building our flows. And in this case, there are going to be uh, three different flows at least. Uh, one will be on the opportunity object that will be responsible for updating the notes across the different objects. And that one is gonna use loops. So that's why we kind of covered loops already just so we had some uh, uh, more experience there before we dived in uh, or dove in. And then the second one will be uh, on accounts and will be responsible for updating the account notes for all the opportunities. And then uh, the final one will be a flow that also runs on the opportunity, but that is responsible for populating or pre-populating the opportunity when it's first created to have all the information that Pedro requested. Once we build out our flows, we'll do some debugging and you know follow the best practice there. And then uh, I'll also show you an alternate solution to one of the flows here. I think it's important to point out again in the course that this is a course about flows, but that doesn't mean everything in the Salesforce platform can um, or should be solved with a flow. So although we're gonna take a, a flow builder approach to this challenge, there is something else that doesn't require a flow. And I at least wanna show that to you so that you know about it. Uh, finally, we will recap um, and summarize our challenge at the end of the lecture. So I hope you're excited. This is going to be a fun one. Loops are super important, and this is going to be uh, one of the skills that separates you from uh, a beginning flow builder and a more intermediate or even advanced level flow builder. So let's get started, and I'll see you in the challenge pre-work.